Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we are almost at the end of 2021 and we are rolling into 2022. Can you believe it? Time is moving ever so swiftly. Now we are at the end of the year. So I'm going to be doing my January's monthly budget, okay? Not much has changed really. I have increased a few categories and I'm just gonna fill my budgeting sheet in and we're gonna just work through this together. I don't want this video to be extra long. So if you're new here, my name is Gracia. I'm a mom of one and I'm a low income earner. And on this channel, you'll find all videos financial related, debt payoff related, savings related, and so on and so forth. So if you'd like to see that, please keep on watching. Do you wanna, do you wanna come along with me? So we are going to jump into things here. So our income that we're expecting to get in is £1,444.47. pence. Our savings are still the same. So we've got our 3% savings and our help to save. So the 3% gets £25 and the help to save, I maxed it out at £50. So that gives us a total of £75. And then we've got our sinking funds. And we've got about five of those. And that comes up to 165 pounds. Okay, and the sinking funds, our home insurance at 35 pounds, self-care at 40, road tax at 10, Costco membership at 10, car maintenance at 70 pounds. And that gives us 165. So what we are going to do, we are going to add up 75 plus 165. And that gives us 240 pounds. So that's our total. So from the 14, 1444.47 minus 240 pounds, we have 1,204 pounds 47 pence left. We're going to start with our fixed expenses so that starts with our rent and that's coming in at 375 pounds we've then got our council tax and that comes in at 101 pounds electricity we have bumped that up a bit That's coming in at 50. Gas. I have also bumped that up a bit and that's coming in at 55 because if you aren't aware, all of the bills and stuff will be increasing in the new year. So yeah, I'm just sort of preparing myself. Water. Thirty-six pounds. Mobile phone, we've got £23. Internet. £40. And our bank account fee. Is £2. So we're gonna add all of these up. 
So that gives us £682. So if I'm comparing this to December's budget, it's gone up by about £20 or so. Because I've just sort of put a little bit of extra just to, you know, give me a bit of a buffer in case things do go up when I least expect it. 1204.47. Let me put you up so you can see. So 1204.47 minus 682. So that gives us 522.47 there. That's what we've got left. 522.47. So we're going to head down to our variable expenses and we have groceries. And I bumped my groceries up to £100. So that's going to be over four weeks. So that's going to be £25 a week for my son and I. I'm going to be trying my utter best to stick to this. I do want to squeeze into here. I am aiming to have a separate amount for Costco. So I want to have like a Costco bulk buy sinking fund. So whenever I go to Costco, I will use from that because I'm just going to say it right now. Going to Costco with this amount of money, your grocery amount will be depleted. It doesn't matter if you stick to everything that's on your list. Costco is a warehouse where you buy things in bulk. You get an excessive quantity for the things that you buy, whether it's meat, chicken, household items, sugar, whatever it is. So it's gonna be more expensive. So I don't think that it's fair to include it in the groceries because that's not really gonna work. Let's just be honest. If you're a person who has like a 400 pound grocery budget, then it might work for you, but it doesn't work for me. So I do what works for me and my household. So that's that. Petrol. I'm gonna put that as 80. Subscriptions. That's $32.98. And then we've got Kaylan. I've increased his to 60. So over four weeks, that's going to be around 15 pounds a week because he does have pack lunches and bits and bobs here and there. And those do add up. So I decided to increase that. So let's get that added up. 100 plus 80 plus 32.98 plus 16. So that's 272.98, the total. 272.98, all right. And if we subtract that from 522.47, that leaves us with 249.49. Okay, and we are at the bottom of our sheet, which is dedicated to our debts. So I've got my Good Samaritan. And this person gets 2.55. And then I've got my 0% debts. Oops. And that is fixed at 141.09. When I'm in a better position, I will be able to pay more. But for right now, that's just not gonna work. So, <laughs> By looking at the leftover amount and just the first amount here, you could see that this is not going to be zero based at all and that's okay. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be adding up our 255 plus 141.09. That gives us 396.09. 
and we're going to subtract that from the 249.49 so we are minus 146 146.60 okay so that's our January budget so we don't actually have enough money for the month of January. I am going to be working on some things behind the scenes to see if we could come up with at least 80 to 90% of this amount, you know what I mean? Just to sort of, you know, make sure that everything gets paid, especially this one, the 141, because that's on my credit file. So I need to make sure that that gets paid and there's no late payments on that. So I feel like I've been compromising all of 2021 and you know I've just been penny pinching a lot and I feel like sometimes when I look at my budget it's not very realistic well it is realistic but you know it's like okay you need a bit more for food because what we've got in our freezer is actually running quite low so I'm going to be realistic and set a good amount for my son and I so that we've got food throughout the entire month of January because you guys know January has like 365 days in it alone that month okay it's the longest month ever but this is it guys we will make it work I will come in during the middle of the month as I usually do and do a check-in let you guys know do also check my community tab for any updates any sort of changes I am going to be trying my best to consistently post on there so you guys will be kept in the loop and that's all I've got for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. It's absolutely free. Okay. It's free, free, free. Give the video a thumbs up. That really helps our channel to get recognized by new viewers. And leave a comment below to let me know how your budget is going. Have you started your January's budget yet? How is it going? Is it looking like mine? Worse than mine? Or oh, way better? Just share it. It doesn't matter. This is a nice community where we discuss our financial goals and whatnot and happy christmas to all of you when it does come around all right i'll see you guys in the next one bye wanna shake the ground wanna break away let loose i'm